The Elgin Public Pope John Wolfpack football team hosted High Plains in the home opener on Friday night. The Wolfpack got on the scoreboard first, but their momentum stalled while High Plains amped things up. The boys in red never gave up and battled back from a 22-point deficit at one point, but couldn't take back the lead, losing 32-40. to Head coach Randy Eisenhower talks about the positives he saw in tonight's game. Wolfpack coach Randy Eisenhower, uh, Wolfpack put up a heck of a fight tonight. But, uh, came up in the short end of a 40 to 32 score to High Plains. Yeah, we battled. Uh, the, the kids battled. Um, I've told you, I've told the kids. Um, we keep talking about get better every second, every minute, every down, every quarter. Um, and that's what we did tonight. You know, from, from week one to week two, we improved. Um, and, and like you said, we just come out on the short end. But at the same time, you know, I think it was 40 to 14 at one time, 40 to 20, whatever it was. Mm-hmm. And, and what I saw is, is a good thing. It's what I love coaching about. These kids never quit. You know, they battled. We were there right at the end, had a chance. The, uh, they fought through adversity. Uh, they had some opportunities and uh, just yeah, we, we had some opportunities. That's a game of football. A game of football, you know, I could have sat there and talked to the kids about all the mistakes, but got to look at all the positives as well, uh, and that's something we did. We, we talked about the positive things. Um, you know, we had some mental problems. Like you said, we had three times inside the 10-yard line, um, two of them inside the five, and didn't score. And, and that's tough, you know, that we're talking about teenagers here, you know, and, and they got to go through it. Coaches, you know, we have a lot of emotions. They have a lot of emotions, but they keep they, they kept battling, and that's what I love to see. You know, we could have folded, you know, right away. We don't score three times inside the ten. They could have folded, but but these kids, they worked their tails off, and, and it showed. One of your warriors tonight was Hunter Reisman. He had 42 carries for 276 yards. That's quite that's impressive, um, especially 42 carries. Um, that, that's a lot of carries for that kid. Um, something, you know, we went back and looked at some things and we thought he could do well. And then, you know, we had some adversity and Connor had cramps. He couldn't play the last quarter, quarter and a half and moved Hunter back to quarterback. He knows, you know, he knows that game. He's been there. Um, and they come in and threw, threw some good passes for us as well. So he did well, but yeah. so did everybody else. You say uh, Kyle uh, had, some, after uh, Connor went out, mm-hmm. You know, with Hunter quarterback, uh, Kyle, the running game started to work for you. It did again. You know, we started spreading out some kids um, and moving back. You know, we used to back in the day, that was Hunter was our quarterback, and and uh, Kyle was our tailback. So I just told Kyle, I just want you to run as hard as you can and see what happens. And I thought I thought they did. So, you know, we had some kids come in that <laughs> never played um, before, and they all stepped up and, you know, get better. And hopefully we come next week and keep improving. Reporting from Elgin, Nebraska, this is Dennis and Linnell Morgan of the Elgin Review.